Hello, my name is Jeffy, and this is my best friend, Android the Chihuahua. Today we're going to be working on a super fun cat project. Alright, so if you guys don't know about Mr. Noodles the cat, you missed my last video. I will link it in the description down below. Mr. Noodles is currently a foster cat in our home. We got him from a hoarding situation. One other thing I picked up at that hoarding situation is this weird creepy little cat lawn ornament. I have a great lawn and not enough ornament, so I figured we could try our hardest to redo it and see if we could make it look just like the OG Mr. Noodles. I got us two different types of paint here. This first one is a brown color. It is gloss spray paint. This spray paint is by Martha Stewart. This brown one is in the color of vanilla bean. It looks like a very dark vanilla bean to me. And then this other one is a metallic also by Martha Stewart. And this one is in the color of rust. I am going to try and cover those eyeballs a little bit because we're going to try and get some Swarovski crystals on them at the end of this and I think they'll stay on longer if I don't have to go over paint to get them on. Both of these spray paints say that they are for indoor and outdoor use so hopefully this little creature will last a long time. Alright, I have a little plastic glove to protect my fingernails from the spray paint. And to begin with, I'm going to go in with this golden color and I'm just going to hit the entire cat. I hit the entire cat pretty good. I made a little bit of a mess on the table. But overall, she's looking very, very sparkly and golden. I'm really loving all the detail on this cat. It's popping a lot more now that there's a bright color on it. Uh, you guys probably noticed I didn't put anything on the tail. That's because I'm anticipating a kitty cat with a darker tail. Figured I'd save a little bit of paint. Everything on this cat is looking really nice and dry. So now I'm going to go in with the dark brown and just try and hit the tail. I just grabbed a piece of cardboard for some of the harder to get pieces, like inside this tail. To do the feet, I'm just going to use that same cardboard technique where I just slide it in about where I think we need it and hit everything with that nice chocolate. Now that is a really harsh line and cats don't have harsh lines, so I'm going to go ahead and try and just smooth that out a bit. There we go. That looks a lot more natural. Alright, to do the ears, I've laid it down completely and I'm just going to cover and spray. Alright, the final touch on this little guy is going to be the face, which I'm going to have to freehand. I'm going to do a little bit of covering up on the ears, but for the most part, we're just going to have to hope it goes into the correct place. Our fake Mr. Noodles is completely dry and we're ready to work on the face now. I picked us up a couple of things from the craft store that I thought would be absolutely perfect for this project. The first thing is my favorite glue of all times, E6000. Not only was I able to get us that exact brand, but they apparently have an outdoor version, which is awesome for this project. Another thing I noticed is that it dries a little bit quicker than the regular E6000, which is even better for wait times. I also got us some Swarovski crystals. I was confident that I could use the two big ones on the eyeballs, but I didn't realize that they go out a little bit too much in the back. So I ended up having to pull some other rhinestones from my nail box. These rhinestones are a lot cheaper. I get them on eBay if you look in their search bar and type in 3D nail art, you'll see a lot of different options. To start putting on the rhinestones, I made sure that our Mr. Noodle statue was completely secured facing up. That way I could start on everything going forward. 
Because our project is 3D and the glue takes a little bit of time to dry, you do have to work on this project in sections of whatever you can get to face directly upwards. For this particular project, we did facing up, we did the left side, and we did the right side. To begin with, I made pupils using a couple of the nail rhinestones. Once those were completely set in place, I turned it on its side and started adding some beautiful milky blue colored Swarovski crystals. Those look exactly like the color of Mr. Noodle's eyes. Because I had so many crystals, I went ahead and made him a bow tie as well. I really think it's an incredible touch. It adds a lot of extra sparkle to this project. The final piece is so much better than I ever could have expected. I knew it would be kind of beautiful, but this has blown my expectations out of the water. Even Mr. Noodle said he approves. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!